Mga pet malapet, I finally have the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Good day, mga pet malapet. It's Sean DC. Today, we're gonna talk about the brand new iPhone 14 Pro Max. But before we start, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga videos natin. I am currently holding the new iPhone 14 Pro Max. And as you can see, among the colors space black, gold, silver, and deep purple, I chose deep purple. Lagi kong sinasabi sa mga tech videos ko, I always choose the exclusive colors. Kasi in the future, I want to be able to identify na, Oh, it's deep purple, so it's iPhone 14 Pro Max. Or, Oh, this is shadow blue, so it's iPhone 13 Pro Max. The big question is, Is it actually worth it to buy the iPhone 14 Pro Max? Ano-ano nga bang features nito? Let's find out. First, let's talk about the display. This is how it looks like in front. And this is how it looks like sa likod. If you're wondering kung gaano siya kalaki, the size is 6.7 inches OLED screen, which is actually the same sa iPhone 13 Pro Max. It still has the 120 Hz Pro motion, kaya napaka smooth niya, especially when you're playing games that support 120 FPS, like Genshin Impact for example. Unfortunately, Apple made ProMotion still a Pro line exclusive. So kung hindi Pro or Pro Max ang gamit mo, you still won't reach 120Hz. But non-Pro users are saying na smooth pa rin naman na experience nila kahit na wala silang ProMotion. And syempre, this amazing specs won't matter if the battery life is not good. Apple claims na ang battery life ng iPhone 14 Pro Max can last all day with its 4,323 mAh I could say na the battery life is great. You can literally use this for about 10 to 11 hours. That was once a day mo lang siya charge. Another thing that Apple is proud of with this line is the introduction of always on display. Basically, you can leave the screen on kahit natutulog ka. Kasi most of us, ang unang ginagawa natin once we get up in the morning is to check our phones. Ano oras na ba? iPhone 14 Pro Max has the ability to go on 1Hz refresh rate during always on display mode para hindi madrain ng battery kahit nakabukas na siya for multiple hours. Marami nagkasabi na baka mamaya pagkagising nila, 0% na yung battery nila kasi yung tagal na ko-on ng phone nila. Or sabi naman ng iba, baka hindi sila magising kasi namatay yung iPhone 14 Pro Max nila dahil magdamag na kabukas habang natutulog sila. But multiple trusted testers tried the always-on display for multiple hours. And, hindi naman masyadong nadrain ang kanilang batteries. So, it's actually not bad. Now, let's talk about the new chip. iPhone 14 Pro Max has the A16 Bionic chip. Apple claims that it will make the iPhone 14 Pro Max about 17% faster than the previous model. The iPhone 13 Pro Max is already really, really fast. So if you're telling me that this could be 17 times faster than that, then I'm impressed. This could be very useful, especially if you are someone who loves using your iPhone device as a work device. Like, for example, if you edit ka through an iPhone, you will really notice a big difference. Because this phone is designed to handle those stuff that could cause other phones to lag. And siyempre, if you're gonna use it that way, it could cause your phone to heat up or it could actually be prone to unforeseen events. So let's talk about the endurance of the iPhone 14 Pro Max. This phone has water and dust resistance, meaning it's waterproof. I've seen multiple videos online wherein they tried to dip it underwater. And yes, it's actually waterproof. Although, I don't think this is designed to stay underwater for like an hour or two. Pero in case na accidentally natapunan mo ng tubig yung phone mo, you won't need to worry kasi it won't break. And if you're gonna ask me to try and test that with this phone, I will never do that. Considering how expensive this is, I'll just pretend that it's not waterproof. Just to be sure. Just to be sure. Para naman sa may hiling makabagsak ng phone jan. This phone is protected by what they call ceramic shield. They claim that the shield 
makes the iPhone 14 Pro Max protected by a glass tougher than any smartphone devices. Mas matibay ba siya sa older phones na hindi smartphones? Probably not. Pero since most, if not all, smartphones are fragile, this is actually better. Para naman sa mga mahihiling mag-drive dyan, this phone has crash detection, which means it can detect car crashes. That's one feature that I hope walang makakagamit. Pero just in case, a person who has an iPhone 14 Pro Max experience a car crash accident, the phone will automatically call the emergency hotline just in case hindi kaya ng owner na tumawa. The funny thing about this feature, there have been reports that yung mga nag ride sa theme parks, their iPhone 14 Pro Max automatically calls the emergency hotline thinking na na-accident sila. Meron yung nirelease na recordings and kung pakihinggan mo, Iisipin mo talaga na na-accident sila kasi di ba sa theme parks, laging nagsisigawan yung mga tao. So, it could be a challenge sa mga tao behind those emergency hotline numbers. Kasi, they won't be sure kung yung automatic calls from iPhone 14 devices are actually real accidents or kung nasa theme park lang pala sila. Ang magandang gawin dyan, if you already have the iPhone 14 Pro Max, you could actually disable this feature by going to the settings. So, bago ka sumakay ng theme park, you could do that just to prevent those type of automatic calls. Or better, pwede rin naman mag-release ng Apple ng new update wherein you could activate a theme park mode para alam ng phone mo na, no, it's not an accident, nasa ride ka lang. And of course, kilalang kilala ang iPhone sa tatlong lenses sa likod. Is it actually good? Kaya na bang makipagsabayan ni iPhone sa totoong cameras? The good news is, Apple finally has 48 megapixels main camera, which will allow you to zoom up to four times the resolution. Here's a sample footage na kinunan ko, and as you can see, malinaw na malinaw pa rin siya. Kahit naka-max out na yung zoom in. Mababasa mo pa nga yung nakasulat kahit malayo eh. It also has the Pro Raw feature kung saan makikita mo ang uncompressed version ng photos mo. Ibig sabihin, mas lalong malinaw. Ang problema dito is the fact that it will take a lot of space sa phone mo. So only use this when taking special pictures. Or if you bought the one with the 1TB storage. Cinematic mode is also here. Compared sa iPhone 13 Pro Max, mas refined na yung blur niya. You can also set it to 4K HDR at 24 FPS, which what filmmakers usually use. One of the most exciting features of iPhone 14 Pro Max is the action mode stabilization, meaning it will reduce the shakiness during active shot. Perfect to para sa mga lagi nang yinginig habang kumukuha ng videos. Here's a comparison of the iPhone 13 Pro Max footage versus the iPhone 14 Pro Max with action mode stabilization. As you can see, hindi mo na mapapansin ang shake. Even though I was actually running backwards while shooting the videos. So it actually works and it's amazing. Special shout out to our actress for the day, my sister, HK Samantha DC. Go ahead and subscribe to her YouTube channel as well. And finally, the biggest change for the iPhone 14 Pro Max is the disappearance of the notch, which is also the introduction of the Dynamic Island. This is what the Dynamic Island looks like. As you can see, interactive na siya. You can play songs on Spotify, and once you minimize, it just blends with it. There are more features to discover, and I think that it's a great way to make it more interesting, considering that they cannot remove those for now, kasi they need that for the Face ID. My verdict for that, it's a little bit gimmicky, but I like it. Usually kasi when you play a song on your iPhone, you need to slide down para makontrol ang Spotify. But now, you just need to tap the dynamic island and you'll automatically be able to control it. So, is the iPhone 14 Pro Max actually worth it? Well, yes, it is. Especially when your phone is at least iPhone 12 or older. But if you're currently using an iPhone 13 Pro Max, and you're expecting a big leap from your current phone, you might want to wait for the iPhone 15 Pro Max or 15 Ultra instead. Personally, 
Having the dynamic island and the action mode stabilization makes the iPhone 14 Pro Max worth it for me. Because my sister and I love doing TikToks on our iPhones and sometimes we even use our phones to shoot our videos. So for us, it's definitely worth the upgrade. How about you? Sa tingin mo, worth it nga ba ang iPhone 14 Pro Max? Have you tried using it or do you have plans on buying it? Comment your answers below. And if you like this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga videos natin. Thank you so much for watching, mga pet malupet.